Frantic moments inside a restaurant as families push against hurricane force winds to escape. Not far away, shoppers file outside a Costco and into a hellscape. Scenes of two suburban communities forced to run. Winds gusting 177 kilometers an hour whipped up wildfires in northeastern Colorado. Coming down this road, um, the, the ditches and things and the trees, all, they're all up in flames, like there's embers everywhere. Smoke so thick on the highways, drivers could barely see. God help us. Entire neighborhoods destroyed. After a brief aerial tour, Colorado's governor estimates as many as a thousand homes gone. This is our community and to watch it burn so quickly, so unexpectedly, uh, is something that I think we're all just struggling to believe and understand. This is now Colorado's most destructive fire on record. Shocking given it is December, but this region has been in a drought all fall. Less than four centimeters of rain or snow between August and November. As hotspots continue to smolder, many are eager to check on their homes. They have to wait. It's still too dangerous to return. There is some relief from a very different kind of extreme weather. A snowstorm bringing 25 centimeters of snow to the region into Saturday. But for those who lost their homes, a brutal end to a brutal year and a terrible way to start the new one. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Washington.